What's going on everybody? Welcome to Python Leaker Solution Tutorial 253 Mini Rooms 2. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to check my personal website, nellyblood.com. There are a lot of free coding um, tutorials and articles that might be helpful to you. Alright, so here I would like to use other people's um, websites to check uh, the questions because I do not have a premium in the lead code. So uh, similar to the meeting room one that I've uh, I've talked just now, so this question is a little bit different. So by given the question is asking by given the starting and end times for um, a lot of meetings, I find the minimum number that conference rooms required in order to schedule all these meetings. So let's do it more straightforward. So let's just jump to uh, the algorithm. So personally, I have two solutions for this question. The first which is also uh, to be talked here is called a heap uh, solution and a more amazing solution that will be introduced uh, in the next tutorial. All right, so we have, for example, we have three meetings here and we also have a, um, a queue here. So the queue is to store, um, so queue, the, the items in this queue, right, is actually the room so this is to record the ending times for the previous meeting. So for example, uh, at the very first, it is empty, right? And uh, let's say this is room uh, meet A, this is B, and this is C. And this is ending time A, ending time B, and ending time C. So first, this room is empty. Therefore, the f for the first meeting, we are going to append um, A here. And next we comes to the second meeting. For the second meeting, we're going to check the sorting time, whether it is larger than the previous one or is smaller than the previous uh, than this value or the ending time. So here it is larger than this uh, A here. And therefore we are going to replace the previous one ending time A to B. This is because um yeah, if you want to know the reason, just Think about it, or you can just check uh, the solution previously in uh, the meeting room one. All right, so this is very straightforward. Um, however, when we goes when we go to meeting room C, we are going to check compare it again. However, we can see the starting time is smaller than B here, and therefore one room is not enough, and therefore we need two rooms here. So if we do the do like this then it's not that efficient. This is because um, if there were n items or n meetings, then every time, if in the worst case, every time we will append a ending time to this, uh, to this queue. And therefore, um, every time when we have a new meeting, we are going to compare the starting time with all elements in this queue. And in that case, the worst time complexity would be uh, big O of n squared, and that is not good at all. Therefore, what we want to make it more efficient by comparing the new starting time with all the ending times in this queue is to use heap, right? Since every time when we when when you are compared to so let's say here is a heap, right? A mean heap, I mean. So every time when you compare this starting time with the ending time in this queue, you just need to compare with this root node if it is a heap, since this should be the smallest number in this entire array or heap array. And uh, once it compared and it, it could be, um, and once it compared, uh, if this is removed, then uh, it will be do a heap, um, to heap by, to heap sort it again. And, the sword is a big O of log n. The complexity is big O of log n. And there are n meetings, n meetings here. Then the total complex time complexity will be big O of n log n. So let's take a look and how to realize this in Python code. So here uh, I've initialized all this setup. So if you're not very familiar with how to use heap queue, this library in Python. Uh, I've attached a link, which is to uh, illustrate how to use this library 
um, please check that video before jumping to this um, solution otherwise it might be a little bit tricky all right so here um, my name is the meeting room so first I'm going to sort um, my intervals and I'm going to initialize my rooms and also my meeting so meetings here as illustrated just now is a queue to store all the ending times so for interval and intervals so first if uh, the meeting is nothing then I'm just going to um, append my interval uh, ending time into it and my rooms also need to plus one as well otherwise if the interval uh, the mating starting time is greater or equal to um, the smallest ending time of the um, of the queue which is zero which is um, the root node of heap and that will be the smallest number all right so uh, if that is the case if it's smaller than that if that is the case uh, and if it's larger than that then there is no clash and therefore we are going to first to pop the top the root node and also to um, push another node so uh, the thing here you can use is push pop so um, meetings and uh, interval one which is the end in time and in this case you do not need to add the rooms by one else the heap will push we we'll simply push another item here and that is one uh, the end in time here so in this case if the interval the starting time of the meeting is smaller than all uh then all the meetings um or the previous meetings and in time there will be a clash and therefore i have to push this uh, and in time again and i need to um add the rooms by one so i add these rooms and I put this and in time in this room all right and uh last but not least i just need to return the rooms here so the expected um, the expected um, answer should be two if you you can check yourself right. So what about the compl time complexity? The time complexity for this for loop is big O of n, and for um, the heap, the heap um, functions both push or pop, pop is just a big O of 1 that is quite uh, straightforward while for push is big O of, n, uh, of log n so the total complexity should be big O of n times log n so you can see actually heap is actually a very powerful uh, thing here if you do not have heap uh, which means for this condition here, we have to compare the interval, the starting time of the meeting with all the previous meetings and in time, yeah. And that would cost you big O of n, and in that case, that would be big O of n squared of the total um, function, and that is not efficient. So you can see the power of heap. Um, however, this is still, this solution is still not that efficient. And we are going to check in the solution two of this question on how to solve this question. And I'm really excited to see you in the next tutorial. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, comments, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial.